Hope you're ready, Chateau. I hope you're ready. Because I'm coming. Coming in hot. But until then, here's the new edit. To see more, you're gonna have to actually click on the edit because it's only got 300 and something views. My name's Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for coming. Thanks for. I gotta get this stopped. It's distracting the hell out of me. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, that's my new edit that I just put up that's not getting many views. That's okay. I make the edits for me. But everybody that has watched it has freaked the fuck out and said it's so great. And that makes me feel like I need to tell more of you people about it. So go watch it. Click the button if you'd like. If not, that's cool, too. Uh, in the chat, we've got... We had uh, Keith Drones. He was foist as he wrote it. Then it was Eric Allen. Uh, Aeon Archon. Wait, let me move this over. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Uh, Big Willy FPV. Aeon Archon came in next. Then Drone Pilot. Then the bros. FBI. BS Zero Man. Ken Hill, Eric Allen, Josh P. FPV, Bill Grimes, The Bros again, Keith Drones again, Jonathan King, Grumpy FPV, Drone Pilot, Private Allen, FPV, Crunked is in the house, Fran E. T. Bird, FPV, Mike Bergman, L Le ah, Led Sled 01, Cordline, Airbender, FPV, The Bros again, Cordline again, Ow, that's a whole bunch of stuff. X O X D J S X O X is here. Yeah, Boyd. Tiago Ramos. I forgot to scroll. Now I'm all the way at the very bottom. Hold on a second here. Uh, where was I? License to drive. Ken Hill. Carbon Cage. FPV. Down under. He's Carbon Cage is literally standing upside down right now. We're all standing right side up here in 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 hamburger land and then carbon cage and his son they're down here standing upside down or if you're a flat earther they're they're like this standing upside down oh this is getting weird uh cgk fpv is here brett vogelslang toxic fpv steve mayer tyler harris uh nathaniel labouf is here cord line again roger fa uh brandon rc toxic fpv carbon cage again bed for life <laughs> ah bed for life nice uh, Brandon RC, Drone Pilot, CMYK, FPV, retracted a message. That's intriguing to me. I wonder what it says. Caustic FPV, CGK again, Freeload, your license to drive, Aaron FPV. Uh, that's me, Aaron. Uh, Brent Vogelslang again, Julian Vincent, Steve S, CMYK again, uh, Toxic FPV, Grumpy FPV, Cuddle Cow, <laughs> Cuddle Cow winning the, uh, winning the, uh, the best name of the night. Uh, Julian Vincent, fucked E36, fucked E36, if I had to guess, is a drifter, and he's here to see more drift content. Well, there's not gonna be much more drift content, but I'll tell you guys a story about meeting T-Pain at the drift event yesterday. That's a fun one. Eric Mangus, Steve Mayer, Alec Dvornik, uh, Angel Padron, Private Island again, T-Bird again, I think we're pretty much good. Nacho Quad, <laughs> Nacho Quad, that's a good one. Uh, Keith Drones, Eric Mangus again, Cordline. Uh, Veritas Weasel, that's a new one. As an Ace Man, that's another new one. Well, look, a bunch of new ones. Double A is here. The Scooter Wizard, Terry Clifton, Cuddle Cow, T-Bird, FPV, Roger Fa. Better Hurry, Private Island, FPV, CJ, CG, uh, CGK, FPV, Bada Bing, Fucked, F36, Jakester, 142, and Say... Yay says, hey, what's up, everybody? Patrick Ruan, I'll let you get in there. 
Uh, my voice is 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 kind of shot from the weekend, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> T Bird says, "Which way do they flush?" <laughs> The, I can, uh, I've actually, I spent three weeks in Australia, um, very early on in my life, between high school and, no, between middle school and high school, I think, maybe between elementary and middle school, but, yeah, I went to, uh, Australia with a, uh, a group called People to People, Student Ambassador Program, um, and, uh, I can, can confirm toilets spin backwards in Australia. That's the most important thing that you'll need to know about Australia. That's not true. It's an awesome place. Um, you should go if you can. It's not just prisoners and, and communists anymore. I don't, I don't know where communists came from. But it's not just prisoners anymore. It's a great place to live. Carbon Cage will tell you. Um, and everybody else that's in Australia. Uh, their toilets flush the right way. All the Australian viewers just got very excited. Toxic FPV says, let me ask you before I buy, Mamba 40 amp 4-in-1 new or 50 amp used, $30, iFlight Success 4-in-1. Um, toxic ESCs are rough. Uh, if someone's selling an ESC, I'm always kind of like, mm, why are you selling it, bro? Um, so, um, oh yeah, I, f I forgot to... How can I, uh, how can I, so YouTube's notifications are pretty much broken, it seems like, uh, 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 hold on, Toxic, um, YouTube notifications seem to be full-blown broken, so, uh, I've been posting on Facebook, both of my accounts, I've been posting on Discord, um, and then Frank suggested that I post on Patreon as well, so I guess I just, I, I'll just make a new post, Every Sunday and Monday, text post. No, I guess it should be a video post. Video post, and then I can just come in here and... Uh, oh, come on, Patreon. This is not the time to give me a goddamn survey. I'm just going to hit all number fives. Congratulations, you win. Uh, okay, so here is the link, and if I just take this and put this in the post title... I will have a live stream. I can tag it with live stream, and I can hit add URL, and then I can do this. Oh man, I fucked this all up. Look at look at how bad at using the internet your boy is. He's I'm fucking typing stuff up. I don't want that. Get the fuck out of there. I don't want you in there. There we go. Uh, and then I can probably even put, like, 914, eh? Hey, look at that. All right, cool. So now, uh, patrons will all get, uh, notification. Speaking of Patreon, it helps me the most. If you want to be a part of it, um, among other reasons, because in 19 minutes we're going to do three Patreon giveaways, um, you can go to ciadifpv.com. That'll bounce you over to my link tree. In link tree are all of the links that, um, help me. And, uh, so click them or else. Uh, yeah, click the links. There's a link to Patreon in there. You can go on there and join uh, three bucks a month, five bucks a month, 10, 20, 30, whatever fits your budget. Uh, the five ten, the five dollar and up tiers, uh, monthly tiers, uh, get you in on the giveaways. So get on over there. It'll kind of explain it, which each tier is and what Ah, you'll get it. You'll get it. Get on over there. Um, also, FPV Therapy is a group that I created over on Facebook almost a year ago. Um, if you or anybody that you know has mental illness struggles, come on over, join, read a couple things. You'll be a way better human being. You'll understand what they're going through a lot more. If you personally have brain stuff that you can't explain, come on over, read our stories. Um, something might resonate with you, and you might read, hey, I fixed it by doing this, and then you can do this, and then you can have fixed it, and then you'll have a better life. Um, so yeah, come on over, um, FPV Space Therapy on Facebook. Uh, if one of the mods wants to drop a link, that would be amazing, um, but otherwise, yeah, you can just use the search and find it. Uh, and if anybody has a way for me to get in touch with Stu from UAV Futures, um, or, um, or any of those guys from, from UAV, uh, please let me know. I, I, I friended them on, on Facebook, um, but, you know, they have a million people on Facebook. Apparently, they're, they're kind of struggling mental health-wise lately. Um, so I would love to, to talk to them and, and share in my struggles, and maybe that'll help them, and maybe it'll help me too, and it's kind of how it works with mental illness. Um, so, yeah, 
if anybody has a, uh, a way to get in touch with Stu, uh, please let me know, because um, uh, apparently he's, uh, he's struggling, and uh, it can get a little scary when, when you're struggling. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Appreciate that. Uh, stickers are another thing that's that's going to link you on um, on uh, cidfpv.com. I got stickers. I'm uh, since I got laid off at the beginning of the pandemic, I've been kind of sort of trying to do this FPV thing full time, and uh, yeah, every little thing helps. So uh, if you want some stickers to show that you're a supporter, look at how holographic and wonderful that one is. You can't tell me you don't want that. Need that? Need you need it. Uh, this one's a magnet. Look at that shit. I gave out a ton of these magnets at the uh, at the drift event this weekend. It's kind of cool. You just stick them on somebody's car, and they're like, "What the fuck?" I'm like I just filmed you, man. Come to my channel, and you can see it eventually. Um, and look, look at the, the oh oh the little guys. Look at the little guys. Ooh. I can make it seem even littler by pulling it back from the camera. Um, the little guys fit beautifully on your goggles. Uh, yeah, it's, that's, that's the things. Um, UAVfutures at gmail.com. Look at big... How, um, how am I supposed to pronounce that? Big o... Big o lair Big o RC 925? Thanks for that, dude. Uh, I mean... You kind of just put at gmail.com on the end, but... I didn't know it. I wouldn't have known it if you hadn't have done that. It's funny. I was just watching a uh, <laughs> um, an episode of The Office where Ryan says uh, that he's got some famous person's email address, and somebody challenges him on it and says, "Do you really, Ryan?" And, <laughs> and Ryan says, "Yeah, most of these guys are just so and so at Gmail." <laughs> or no, I think I don't think he says Gmail at the time, but yeah. Uh, okay, so I need to, uh, hold on, I'm going to open up a new email because uh, we're about to go on an adventure together for the next hour and 45 minutes, and there's no way that I will remember that very simple to remember email address, uh, but I, I like to have my mail opened anyway because when we get to the Super Chat giveaway, you guys can do PayPal if you'd like, link at cidfpv.com. Uh, you guys can do PayPal if you don't want to do a super chat because YouTube takes 30% of super chats. So if you're anti-YouTube taking 30%, I've got an option for you. And eventually I'll have uh, some more options for you. But you got to stay tuned for that. Hey, 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 shirts too. Shirts, 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 shirts. Get over there. There's a Teespring link if you want shirts. I don't even have a shirt yet. You guys can get a fucking shirt before me. And then you can put pictures of it, and then I'll re-whatever, re re-Instagram, re-Facebook. Get a shirt, if you want. Get some stickers, if you want. Hire me to, to edit one of your videos, or give you professional-level flight instruction, if you want. If you want. It's on you. You do you. Uh, okay, I got this email opened, and... Ha! Okay, good to go. Uh... So... Chat. Alright, let's see how caught up I can get on chat in the next 14 minutes before the giveaways start. Eric Allen said, hey man, hope you're well. If you at me in the chat, at CIDFPV, no space, um, it will light up an orange for me, and I will know that you're talking to me. If you don't at me in the chat, I will think that you guys are talking to each other. Everybody in the chat is, whether you like it or not, a part of the collective. Um, I'm not the smartest guy in the room all the time. And that's why I have great friends that are going to fill in the gaps. The Collective is the group of us that hang out on Patreon and over on Discord that solve problems, make our shit fly better, and just generally try to not rip all of our hair out because this hobby is very frustrating. Um, so yeah, join us by joining the Patreon and then that'll bounce you over to the Discord or just come in here and hang out because that's always been all I've ever wanted is for you guys to kind of hang out and for us to, uh, yeah, be friends friends. Airbender FPV says, what's up, buddy? 
Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Drone Pilot says, hey, how are you doing? I'm good, Drone Pilot. How about you? Uh, CMYK FPV said, <laughs> CMYK FPV said, I came. And I'm eight years old, so I laughed at it. Steve Mayer post posted a uh, explodey face, head, brain guy and tagged me. What's up, Steve Mayer? Uh, Ken Hill says, remember to toggle on live chat. I always, re weirdly, I always remember that. Um... Uh, Toxic FPV says, oh, 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 we gotta get back to Toxic FPV. Um, so, mo brand new Mamba 40 amp 4 in 1 or 50 amp used iFlight 6X 4 in 1. Um, I would actually go with the new thing just because it's very easy to damage ESCs, and, and a used ESC is always like very suspect. Um, so, yeah, I would go new. But if those are 30 by 30 ESCs, I would actually spend a little bit more money and wait and get the Akon AK32 um, in terms of, and if it's a 5 inch rig. Um, what I've learned in the last two hours, <laughs> two hours, great, two years of flying 5 inch rigs is that um, ESCs will like bankrupt your ass because most of the ESCs out there are junk. Um, the Akon AK32 is really the only ESC that I've found. It's not that expensive. It's 60 bucks, so it's, yeah, for sure it's more um, than some of the other ESCs. But um, it's lasted like two or three times as long as, as any of the other ESCs that I've flown. And that makes the extra money well, well, well worth it. So if you're building a 5-inch rig Toxic, and if it's 30, even if it's 20 by 20, um, the Akon AK32 ESCs are hands down just like the best I've been able to find and I've probably run 10 other ESCs um, and like no contest whatsoever so look them up um, if you're building the micro I would just go with that Mamba um, just because it's new uh, but yeah if you're building the 5 inch rig AK32 or nothing Frank Nicholas says no reminders from YouTube no reminders from Patreon um, uh, but now there is a little late, but better late than never. Drone Pilot says, I see you have a URAV 65. I have the same sitting around here, but the latest firmware, 4.0.6 on beta flight. Um, uh, how do you update the ESCs, etc.? I don't know, Drone Pilot. This came from, um, this was sent to me by my best friend in the world, Brad McManus, McManus FPV. And um, it had the little URAV 0603 motors on it that he never loved. Um, I've got a set of Beta FPV 0802s, so I thought it would be a little quick a quick little win on the stream tonight to, to put these motors on it and, and to, to bind and fly, but now it sounds like I'm going to have problems <laughs> because it sounds like the latest firmware I'm going to be able to run on it is 4.0.6, which kind of blows, um, and it sounds like you're also having problems updating the ESCs, so maybe it won't be a quick win, um, but... If, if I have time, I'm going to put the motors on it and plug it into beta flight tonight, and we'll see. Um, if not, I'll do it another night. Um, if you have any other questions, just message me. Hey, all you guys, always feel free to message me at FPV all over the place. Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Patreon, obviously. Uh, I don't know, wherever. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Scroll, scroll, scroll. Carbon Cage says, <laughs> we're still all criminals. But it's really nice here. Come visit us. <laughs> I would love to, man. I would love to go back. Uh, Frank Nicholas says, Facebook is evil. Won't, won't use any of their services again, including Instagram. I wish I could do the same, Frank. Um, <laughs> I do. Uh, and I agree with you that they're evil. But unfortunately for people like me, um, it's an, they're both necessary evils. Uh, <laughs> Mustang, Mustang Pilot 1 says, Hey, JB said you cursed a lot. I don't know what the fuck JB was talking about, but... Um, I'm a, I'm a, a, a Christian pilot. Uh, am I not focused? It's hard to tell if I'm in focus or not with all this, wait, with all this smooth, smooth skin over here. For the record, how come nobody told me that I look so fucking homeless? Um... I, 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 you know, I might only get one picture of myself in T-Pain. It's, it's looking like that's not true, but you never know. This might be the only picture of me and him. And, like, look at, look at your boy's fucking face game. What the hell? Look at this shit. Look, I got shit in the corner of my mouth. I must have been eating something. What? 
Why didn't anyone tell me? Look at how rank your boy looks. Why do you guys come here and watch this? Look at what what's what is what's going on up here? What the fuck? Damn. Um so no, we'll talk about T-Pain later. I, I'm going to make you guys wait for, for the, the T-Pain story. Uh, back to my dumb, smooth face. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. It's Carbon Cage with a dollar forty nine Australian. Thank you, guys. Thank you to both father and son, Carbon Cage. I got your back, little one. I know you don't, I don't, I know you don't have a job yet, little one, but, but you're making money in, in greatness. You're going you're gonna to make your dad some money on, on YouTube in the future. Tiago Ramos says, my lazy brain forgot to tell me, uh, forgot to tell you about their Discord server, UAV Futures. Oh, 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 good one. Good one, Tiago. I will join their uh, YouTube. Uh, Toxic FPV says, I'll send you his email. Awesome. Thanks, Toxic. Uh, uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Dark Sagan says, what's up? What's up, Dark? T-Bird FPV says, I have, I have a Tiny Hawk S hanging around. I'm thinking about doing an R3D shifter, red shifter kit. Uh, what size should I do? Um, oh, that's a good question, T-Bird. Uh, it depends on the motors. What motors are on that Tiny Hawk S? I forget. Um, I think maybe 0802s. Um, if they're 0802s, I would stick with the 65 millimeter kit. Um, pretty sure they're 0802s. Uh, License to Drive says, let me send you a bunch of those 3D printed Fat Shark lens protectors with your logo that you can give away and sell. Nice, License, that's super cool. Um, that's great timing too because uh, I, I'm pretty much out of uh, Super Chat giveaway fodder. Um, so that's fucking fantastic, dude. Thank you. Toxic FPV says, it might take him a bit to reply to your email. Um, as you know, how being social can be. Uh, yep. Uh, oh, right, mailbag. Uh, we don't have time for mailbag. It's, it's going to take a minute, so we'll do the giveaways first. Uh, June Loco says, what's up? Uh, YouTube did the thing and scrolled me way the hell down because it wants to make me, I don't know, insane? More insane than I already am. Uh, Free Lojo dropped the Teespring link. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, less, uh, wait, no, uh, okay, my brain just, uh, took the day off. Double A says, Facebook is bringing up Jay Almer's page. Oh, cause that, you, um, uh, you, you put a space in there, or you didn't put a space, you gotta put a space. There's two FPV therapy pages, one of them with a shitload of members, one without, um, and I think the difference is a space between FPV and therapy. Um, so yeah, put a space in there, FPV space therapy. Uh, Family Guyver says, how much for the professional flight instruction, perhaps on a simulator? That's exactly what I'm doing, Family Guyver. Um, if you go to ciadifpv.com and click the Fiverr button, F-I-V-E-R, um, I have, like, different amounts of time, half an hour, an hour. Um, I'm also offering to stream it. If you want, I can stream the whole session so you can become e-famous as fuck! Um, you won't really become e-famous at all. I don't have that much of a following yet, but someday, maybe. Um, yeah, head on over to Fiverr, and uh, I've got a job set up for it, and uh, it's all explained in there. I've had one customer so far, and he had a fucking blast. Um, we spent a bunch of time, hung out, talked, bullshitted. Um, he learned a bunch of stuff, and uh, yeah, it was great. So um, I'm excited to do that. We, we do it on simulators. Again, it talks about it in there. Uh, liftoff or um, uh, Velocidrone, and uh, yeah, we do a Skype call or just a regular phone call or whatever and spend half an hour, an hour flying around. You ask me questions, I show you stuff. Um, yeah, let's do it. The FPV instructor is gonna be hopefully my thing moving forward. Um, it's been a little slow so far. I'm, I'm, this is how I'm starting it. Um, but yeah, I own the domain and uh, I would love to someday be the FPV instructor. So you guys gotta help, unfortunately. Well, it's weird to say unfortunately, but you guys need to help um, because you're the only ones that like me. <laughs> um, so yeah, go check it out. CIDFPV.com. Hit the Fiverr button, and uh, I can either teach you to fly better or teach you to edit your vi or edit your videos for you so that they look better. I should do another one for editing, huh? 
I would love to teach you guys how to edit your videos better. I try to stream when I'm editing and, and just answer questions as much as possible, but I know there's a lot of like individual one-on-one -on -one questions when, when editing. Um, I'm not a super duper editing guru though. I guess I'm, I'm afraid that like there would be technical questions that I wouldn't be able to handle. Um, I don't know. You guys tell me. If you want it, I'll do it. Um, and if it becomes a train wreck, I'll send your money back and maybe not do it ever again. <laughs> uh, June Loca says, what's up? Uh, Carbon Cage says, uh, I'll trade you editing for artwork uh, for shirts and stickers. Carbon Cage, unfortunately, I've got a free, somewhat free, I, I kind of work for it. Uh, graphic designer right out there. Her name is Kristen, or Ciati Creative on Instagram or Kristen loves Lego on Instagram and yeah she does all the graphic design stuff for me for free um, I appreciate the offer though dude um, and I am gonna come visit you someday I hope I hope uh, airbender says I got all right, two minutes but I think I'm towards the bottom uh, airbender says uh, that, 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 that you'll have to stick some of those stickers in the box you send my duo back in Deal, Airbender. Just remind me, because I'll totally forget. Tiago says, uh, uh, check... Oh, nice. Thanks, Tiago. Uh, Fucked E36 says, is manned drone racing coming in the future? Um, more than likely, yes. Uh, over in Europe, there's a, um, there's a drone racing organization. Shit, I forget what they are. Somebody will hook me up in the chat. Collective, hook a brother up. Who's the, uh, the, the drone racing group, uh, in Europe that already has done, has already built a manned racing drone. Um, yeah, for sure it'll happen, E36. Um, uh, no, I'm going to call you fucked. Um, it'll happen for sure, fucked. Uh, it's awful dangerous, though. <laughs> like, the, um, the, the propellers, oh god, the propellers required to lift a big fat person. So, so to give you some concept, um, our payload is the GoPro, which is between 80 and 120 grams. So now you blow that payload up, and by payload, just think of like the thing that doesn't help performance that has to get lifted up into the air. Um, to take that payload and go up to 160 pounds, 180 pounds, what you know, hopefully they're flying light guys, but um, to, to boost that payload up, you know, that high. The propellers get really big, and the violence gets really violent. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it might be a while, because, like, there's going to be a point where a manned quadcopter chops somebody into itty-bitty little pieces. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sure it'll be coming, but um, I feel like they'll have to uh, they'll have to figure out how to stop and we've already got something called break on stop. So if if they just make a huge version of break on stop, I mean break on stop is just a piece of fucking code that says when you disarm, stop the propellers. But I feel like they they need to uh, have like a really good fail safe for like if that person is is falling out or if something weird is happening or if there's it's heading towards the stands um, to stop the propellers because propellers are sharp. <laughs> And they will fuck you up. Um, so yeah, coming, but I don't think it's anytime soon. Uh, let's do some giveaways because I don't think I can get to the bottom of the chat quick enough. Yes, I can. Airbender FPV, 30%? Fuck that. I should use PayPal yesterday. Uh, Solo FPV says, Yoda, my dude. Uh, got my goodie bag. Thanks. You're welcome, Solo. Enjoy. Uh, Veritas Weasel says, What simulator can I use to learn FPV? Any of them. Um, the, the trick is to just use them a lot. Um, I used to do a half an hour a night, every night. No fucking bullshit, no, no excuses, nothing. Every single night for probably the better part of six months, um, I would, no matter what, before I went to sleep, I would have simmed for a half an hour. That's the trick. Get into the sim every single day and just hit it. This is why T-Pain can drift. He's done a, he's spent a ton of time in the simulator and he can fucking drive, like for real drive. And I think he's only been to a couple drift events. Um, it's all because of the simulator. Um, and the same goes for us. Um, I've probably got two, three hundred hours minimum into the simulator. It was like the cheat code for me to get good. 
um, in 2019, 2018, 2017. Um, so do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, my favorite at the moment is Velocidrone. Liftoff is also really good. Um, yes, you do have to pay for them, but you're going to use them for hours and hours and hours. And maybe, if you're anything like me, if, if you're any, anywhere near as cheap as I am, once you've paid for the simulator, you better goddamn believe that I'm going to get my money's worth out of it and use the shit out of it. So maybe that'll help. Because um, there are free simulators that aren't nearly as good, but then, yeah, you're not, uh, you're not financially invested in using them. So, Velocidrone or Liftoff, plus then... If you decide you want to really up your game, you can jump on Fiverr and get your boy, the FPV instructor, to, you know, what's next. Uh, shill over. Uh, great question, though, Veritas Weasel. Uh, yeah, Velocidrone or Liftoff uh, will be awesome. <laughs> Blind luck. I'm not going to say that out loud, but it made me laugh. June Loco says, have you tried the new, multipl uh, the new multiplayer on Velocidrone? I have not. Um... But now I'm gonna. Alan Cheagle says, "Do you think 4K run? Do you think the 4K run cam split four would consume too much power to put on a modula Mobula six with Mobula six HD canopy?" I sure hope not, Alan, because that run cam split is kind of like made for the the tiny whoops. Um, so I can't possibly imagine that it would. Keep in mind, though that you're not going to be able to power it directly from the battery. You're going to have to power it from a 5-volt source on the AIO, or you're going to have to run your own 5-volt um, regulator to get what to get the voltage that the run cam split uh, wants. So just keep that in mind. I, I, I assume that the Mobula 6 AIO has a 5-volt pad on it, um, so you should be totally fine, but just, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, Freelojo says, you be normal, so how can you look homeless? <laughs> Thank you for that, Freelojo. Toxic FPV says, Velocidrone has combat mode. What? Combat mode now as well as new maps. Combat mode? Uh, sold. Uh, Roger Fa says, for a new pilot, what sim do you rec recommend? Sounds like Velocidrone. Fucking combat mode. Come on now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I already preferred Velocidrone. <laughs> Uh, XOXDJSXOX says, what if I just need someone to talk to, CID FB, message me, anywhere. Um, if, if, uh, I'm, I'm assuming when you posted that, maybe I was talking about FPV therapy, uh, on Facebook. Um, if any of you guys ever just need somebody to talk to and you're thinking about doing something permanent and stupid, message me, all right? Message someone, message all these guys. In those moments, your brain is going to tell you to not do it, and it's your job to say fuck you. You're lying to me. You're, you're telling me to do something dumb, and you're also telling me that reaching out to someone is a bad idea, and you're an asshole, brain. That's what mental illness basically is. It's a fucking asshole in here that just tells you the wrong stuff and tries to ruin you. Don't let it! Um... Yeah, you guys are always, 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 always free to, to message me. Um, if it's mental health related, do me a favor and write that in like, you know, write like help or write something. Because um, I do get a good amount of messages and I, and I do have to kind of prioritize them. Um, so yeah, if you're going to if you're going to message me something mental health wise, um, say it. And uh, also join FPV therapy. There are a ton of folks in there who would also love to get a message from you guys. Um, when you're in the time of need, uh, it, it it weirdly humanizes it, and it helps it helps me a lot to help other people with mental illness stuff because it helps me understand what's happening um, in my own brain, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, you guys are absolutely always uh, totally welcome to reach out to me. Uh, all right, almost done. 1037. Here we go. Lenny Gordon, just got my first Ender 3D printer. Any, any, blah, 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 any advice for someone struggling with TPU? None whatsoever, Lenny. I have zero 3D printing experience. Um, but lots of folks in here do, so they're probably already helping you out in the chat. Everybody help Lenny Gordon if uh, you've got any advice on Ender 3s. Borges FPV says, hey, brother, welcome back. Got my stickers from yourself on Saturday. They're great. Thank you. Awesome. Borges FPV got a free The Collective sticker because... I mean, Borgus, right? Come on. If you didn't connect that, I don't know what to tell you. 
Um, but yeah, Borgus is an official, unofficial, official. No, not an official. He's just an official. He's a double official member of the collective because Borgus. Uh, DCL, that's it. Thank you, guys. DCL is already flying people. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. <laughs> that shit looks sketchy as fuck. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I'm never gonna get caught up. Uh, well, not never, but not before the giveaways. We're just gonna go into the giveaways. Uh, okay, I'm scrolling to the bottom of the chat, uh, and then I'm gonna scroll back up at the end of the giveaways. Uh, oh, so the beginning of the giveaways, if I haven't shilled enough for Patreon and Discord, uh, is going to be over on Discord. There is a patron on, on my Discord. Uh, there is a patron only uh, channel thingy for uh, um, for you guys to post videos. And then when I'm doing the giveaway thing, because I need to go and, and click some buttons here. Uh, I play your guys' videos. So, I'm going to launch Discord, and we're going to see who's got some videos in there, and then we're going to play them. So, if you want to be, uh, like, you know, this much more e-famous than you were the day before, there's a way. There's a way. Uh, I'm going over here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, uh, look at this Discord page I got going, guys. Look at it. Look at it. It's very fancy. And in here, there is the Video Collective. And in the Video Collective, you guys have posted your edits. So I'm going to scroll to the top here, and I'm going to try to remember where the hell I left off. <laughs> uh, I seem to remember this crunked video. I think I also remember this... Proton to go video, maybe, no, 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 maybe not, no, all right, I think this is where we left off, I'm going to open Proton's video here, and it's unavailable, <laughs> we're going to come down here to Blunty's, it's Blunty's video, whooping in a flower room, all of you 420 folks will love this, plus it's Blunty is just, he's just an awesome dude. If you don't know who It's Blunty is, you're missing out, man. Go look him up. Um, he's been doing some. Uh, he's been doing some uh, point the camera at himself stuff. Shout out to It's Blunty. Here we go. Crunks, I feel like I've played uh, your videos on every single one of these, so I'm gonna zip past. We're gonna come back to you. I'm gonna come down here to to meet Wad Fairy, uh, and he's got his own drift video. Look at. Look at Meatwad go! Alright, here we go. So these are going to be our two videos for the night. You guys are going to watch them while I do things. Um, first up is Meatwad Fairy. I think I'm going to play these backwards. Uh, here, let me hook you guys up with a link to his channel. Because if you're not spreading the love, then fuck off. <laughs> That's, it's not true. I mean, it kind of is. It kind of is. Um, spread the love, guys. Spread. Don't. 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 Uh, don't ever feel like you need to uh, to push everybody down to be successful. That is horseshit. Raising people up with you will make you more successful than trying to push others down or just not doing anything. Um, yeah. Be successful with others. Uh, so there's both of these guys' channels. They're both awesome human beings. Go f give them a sub. Uh, and here comes a couple of edits from them. Enjoy. I'm going to click a button or two, and I will be back. We're going to start this thing all right. Duval in the motherfucking house. Come on. Oh, come on. Do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Hey, do it, baby, stick it, baby. Come on, check it on, take it out. Come, hey, hey, show them what it's all about. Hey, 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 shake it on, shake it out. Hey, 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 show them what it's all about. Hey, you got a lot to be smiling for. Smile, bitch, smile, bitch, come on. So what the fuck you be wildin' for? Smile, bitch, smile, bitch, come on. I get my grin on. I'm smiling, bitch, cause I always get my win on. I've been on so many different stages. 
graced the cover of a hundred magazine pages. Made people smile. As a crock pot with a big ass smile like Mr. Hot Spot. Yeah, you got a lot to be smiling for. Smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. Come on. So what the fuck you be wildin' for? Smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. Come on. If you're breathing, you achieving. Smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. Come on. We having fun this evening. Believe me. Up in the air and show a hater you don't even much care. We finna get another bag this year. My ex bitch, you can have that there. Hey, this year, bad vibes get cut off. More trips, new chicks with no draws. More drinks, more smoking, more cars. Most shows with do fall and Snoop Dogg. Look, I ain't trying Here we go with a little bit of meat wad. I'm halfway done, so I figured I'd switch over. Here you go, enjoy. Meatwad Fairy knows what's up. He got it done. All you gotta do is go on Facebook, type in the name of a couple local towns to you, and the word drift. And I can pretty much guarantee you, you will find a group on Facebook of folks that drift in your local area. And you go in there, you type a message that says, hey, do you guys allow drones? And then they type a message back that says, Fuck yeah we do, because for them, it's free, awesome, aerial footage, and then they say, get your ass out here and have the most fun you'll ever have flying, because drifting is kind of like the perfect use, right? We can, we can take a GoPro and move it all around from like 0 to 100 miles an hour. That's kind of what drift cars be doing. Get your ass out there, fly a drift event. You don't have to make an edit, you can just go fly it. You should make an edit, though. Um, because then those guys will freak out and love you forever and invite you back. And, um, yeah, go do it. Go fly drift cars. It's just, you won't have more fun flying. I, I really don't think that you will find something that's more fun, um, to fly or chase. That being said, the wheels be done. The wheels are done. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click this. Uh, okay, good. OBS is already broken. That In record time, uh, OBS has exploded. Here we go. This is the f fart bag bastard. Why doesn't this fucking... This is the $5 a month tier. This is for Tiny Whoop and toothpick stuff. Tonight, thanks to Mark Kunoff, we've got two... Wait, no. It's, it's one of each. So it's my two favorite uh, 65 mil Tiny Whoop frames. The Meteor 65 frame and uh, the Newbie Drone Cockroach frame. 
So you get to try out both of the 65 mil brushless frames. And we've got a set of Happy Model 0802 19,000 KV motors in here, um, as well as a set of props and, uh, and a little BT 2.0 connector. $5 a month tier. Here we go. Let's see who be winning. Let's see who be winning. Oh, it, oh wait, it just worked. That's weird. OBS is just the the pinnacle of weirdness. Um, here is your proof of life, proof of entry. All I do is pull this directly out of Patreon. So if you're not on here, take it up with Patreon, basically. <laughs> um, I don't have much, if any, control. Um, you guys can rewind on the stream. I cannot because I'm filming it. So I'm going to go real fast here. There you go, one page. There you go, two pages. There you go, three pages. Uh, and there's the last page if you want to check to make sure that you're on there. But, like I said, as long as you're active on Patreon, uh, you will be on there. Let's get it going. The goat means the wheel spins, and now we see who wins the beginning of a brushless 65 whoop. And it might be J-Drones, but Patrick Ruan's trying to get him. No, it's J-Drones. Congratulations, J-Drones. I'm going to write your name on this, and then I'm going to ship this to you. And then you're going to start yourself off with A, or maybe another 65 millimeter uh, brushless whoop build. N E Z. Is that legible? Am I going to be able to read that in the future? Let me make that N look like an N rather than it looking like a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that looked like. Congratulations, J Drones! Next up we've got the three inch micro brushless tier and that is over here here's your proof of life proof of entry proof of of all the things ah there you go there's one page there's a second page feel free to rewind if you want to check this is going to be for a caddix turtle i don't actually know if it's a v1 or a v2 but i've had both and there is no difference i couldn't I couldn't tell a difference. I hit the keystroke, but it didn't work. Um, so yeah, Caddx Turtle coming at you for those three-inch micro brushless rigs. Uh, this button, then this button, then go! How loud is that goat? Is it good and loud? Looks like it's loud on the volume meter. Who's going to get the turtle? It's going to be Dan. It's not going to make it to David. Dan Paprocki, you have won. Congratulations, sir. I'm going to write your name on here. Is there a spot that's yellow enough? Wait, no, I have colored markers. Uh, oh, there's a red one. Look at that. Dan, you have won, sir. P-A-P-R-O-C-K-I. I will message you on Patreon to get your info and mail this on out. Congrats, brother. Next up, we've got 5-inch uh, full-blown big donkey prop 5-inch tier was weird i took that to a weird place um and uh you guys are going to join me on this six and seven inch fiasco uh well whoever wins is going to join me this is oh so uh for the record the uh the caddix turtle and these big beautiful motors were sent over by my boy brad mcmanus mcmanus f p v where is the uh Somebody do me, mo, uh, one of the moderators, do me a favor, grab a link to uh, Brad's page, McManus FPV, and drop it into the chat. Um, Brad sent a, bo a big old box of stuff for all you guys to, to win in the giveaways, so show the man some love, give him a subscription. Um, he's a great pilot who doesn't edit often enough, so we need to all, I bug him every time I talk to him, which is like every couple days, every other day, um, but... You guys need to leave some comments on his videos and be like, hey, fucker, don't say that. That's what I say. Um, but be like, you know, this is great. Give me more. Demand more. Demand more. And subscribe. Um, but, yeah, so these are this super interesting collaboration between uh, Racer Star and T-Motor. Uh, they work together to make these 2508... 1200 kv motors um 2508 in my opinion is going to be a uh, good best for a six inch tri-blade you can probably get away with a seven inch bi-blade on these guys 
um, but I would actually go six inch tri-blade um, and get a proppy one, get a proppy one, get a pitchy one rather. Um, the dowel folding six inch props are nice and pitchy. Um, they probably, because this KV is kind of low, 1200 KV um, is a little bit on the low side. So yeah, go with a really pitchy six inch tri-blade or seven inch bi-blade and these motors will rail. Um, and there's five of them because Brad, like me, knows that if you only buy four motors on your Maiden, you will smash the shit out of one of them and just have to stare at a broken rig while you wait for more motors to come. And that sucks. Uh, here is the... Oh, the buttons aren't going to work. Oh, look, the microphone's coming into frame. Hi. Hi, little microphone. Uh, that was weird. Here we go. Here's the wheel. Here are all the people that are on the $20 and up tiers. And one of them is about to win a set of crazy T-Motor Racer Star 2508 1200 KV motors once I click this wheel. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Who is going to suffer through the... No, not suffer. Enjoy it, Meatwad Fairy. Meatwad Fairy is going to be chasing some big, fast drift cars with these if he's as silly as I am. That's what I. That's what I. I have a set of the Brother Hobby 2508s that I use to build a high-speed uh, rig to chase the really big, fast drift cars. And we just watched Meatwad Fairy chasing drift cars, so I have a feeling he's going to suffer through things bigger than five-inch right along with me. Congratulations, brother! I need to write your name down. Meet the one and only Meet Wad Fairy. Meet Wad Fairy is an OG winner of the uh, YouTube Name of the Night ongoing <laughs> debacle. <laughs> All right, now we've got our Super Chat giveaway. Um, thanks to everybody that is super cool enough to join the Patreon page. Um, the, the Patreon page is literally the only reason that I can continue to do this um, in any 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 remote, like, full-time uh, capacity. So, yeah, um, if you guys like what I'm doing and you want to support me, it's it's got to be Patreon. Um, it doesn't have to be Patreon. It's just a funny thing to say. Um, but yeah, thanks to everybody that's over there on the Patreon. Uh, the weekly giveaways are my the, the way that I've found out uh, found out what the way that I kind of give back. Um, I, I I need to I don't need to, but I want to post more over on the Patreon page. But um, I'm a hot fucking mess with mental illness, so fuck off. No. <laughs> um, yeah, I I just need to get better about that. And I will, because I'm trying to be a better person each and every day. And uh, you guys help me out with that, so thank you. Tonight's Super Chat giveaway, which anybody can enter into. You don't have to be on Patreon. All you have to do is a, a, a where, what, what, is this my right hand? This is my right hand. Over here in the comments, down towards the bottom, there's a button for, with a little dollar symbol, I think, maybe. Uh, and that allows you to do a super chat giveaway, or you can go to cidfpv.com and click the PayPal button and send it directly to me through PayPal if you don't want um, uh, YouTube to get 30%. Uh, and tonight's giveaway is sponsored by a couple of super awesome folks. FPV Exchange, you guys know them, you guys love them. If you haven't heard of them, get your ass over there. Check out FPV Exchange in the chat right now. Nevin is in here. This is his website. It's awesome. Go over he sent a shitload of stuff for these giveaways that I've I've worked my way through. Um, I've got a whole bunch of these left, um, but uh, yeah, I've worked my way through a lot of the stuff that Nevin sent over. Super gracious of him. Um, really cool guy that yeah believes in what I'm doing, believes in you guys, the collective, and uh, wanted to help out. So yeah, awesome little micro SD card holder from FPV Exchange, um, R3D, which should be pronounced Red Shifters. It's it's yeah. It's red shifters. Um, I did a, a couple orders from them and uh, mentioned the, the stream and, and you awesome people. And they sent over a bunch of uh, coupon codes, actually, as well as Twizzlers. I mean, I know you just want the Twizzler, but you also get a sticker and a coupon code written on the back of it, a secret coupon code, so that you can go to Red Shifters' website. They have these amazing little... Um, uh, 
tiny whoop frames that are um, like 3D printed nylon carbon fiber. This, this amazing material that is very strong and you can actually like super glue back together and it's really strong when you do that if you do have somehow manage to break it. Um, they're, you're, you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of their frames uh, in the future here. I'm, I'm going to do some cool shit with them. Um, FP, uh, Tiny's LEDs sent over a shitload of their amazing little LEDs. Uh, show them some love. Tiny, T-I-N-Y-S-L-E-D-S. It kind of looks like you're spelling tiny sleds, but that's okay. That's because you can't use an, uh, an apostrophe in a web URL. But uh, four of these guys, yellow and blue, uh, and then uh, just a rando set of HQ prototype. Come on, you know you want the prototypes. 5.1 by 4.3 by 3s. I'm actually going to be flying HQ 5.1 props um, a lot more, mainly because for the drift event. So we're we're as we do. Um, when I say we, I'm talking about like the big group of us that are calling ourselves the New Atlanta Crew. Um, as we go out to, this was the third drift event in a row that a bunch of us went to. Um, as we do more and more of these we're kind of getting more and more reckless and what's cool is drift cars are beat to hell and like they care about other cars ramming them they could not give a fuck about this little thing ramming them um so they don't give a shit when we when we bang into their into their passenger side door trying to get two inches off of it uh for the amazing shot um so yeah we're, we're starting to uh bump into the cars a little bit more often and <clears throat> what happens is, especially when there's a couple cars in a train, is if you bump the front car and you go down and you can't immediately turtle mode back over and get the hell out of there, your ass is getting run over. And if you've not had a quad get run over by a car before, ooh boy, you like we think that these are very durable, but they're only really durable in in crashes that we like flying crashes. Getting run over by cars puts a whole different set of energy into these things, and it just fucks up everything. Um, the the last two events, we've had at least one rig that's been a total write-off. I mean, like, top to bottom, just fucked. Like, maybe the camera still works, but, I mean, like, GoPro, electronics, four motors, just everything ruined. Frame, everything just destroyed. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, uh, durable and and the and the HQ four point uh, five point one series of propellers are the most durable. Um, they're also kind of heavy and they don't fly all that great, in my opinion. But um, sacrifices, right? I'd rather have something that well. And when we're filming drift cars, we're not doing all like gnarly freestyle shit that requires a really lightweight propeller we're flying like we're on a gimbal, so we're flying very smooth, and having a heavier prop makes not much difference in that scenario. Um, so yeah, HQ 5.1s, I flew them this weekend, uh, and I hit two cars and just got right back up, and the props were a little bit bent, but they fully survived, um, and a lot of these lightweight um, 5.1, 5 inch props nowadays won't do that. Like, if, if you hit anything, they bend to the point where it's going to hit the arm and you're stuck. And uh, yeah, if you're going to go film a drift event, think about that. Because getting stuck out there is a is a very sad, sad, sad experience of just watching your shit get run over. So, uh, And then the last thing, last but not least, of course, is Broken Prop Crew. Uh, they sent over a ton of a ton, a ton of their lanyards and head straps. If you don't know who, bro uh, the moderators, do me a favor, drop a link to Broken Prop Q, pr cr mm, Broken Prop Crew. Um, they used to be called Pretty Fly, um, and that's the logo that's on most of these. You guys probably know the logo. Um, yeah, I've been using their lanyards and goggle straps for like two plus years and they've been amazing they have the coolest goddamn designs i've ever seen so show them some love and they love you guys because they sent over like 200 plus dollars and stuff to for you guys to uh to get here so the the winner of this next super chat um is gonna get one of these guys you get to pick um so that's that's the prizes for the super chat giveaway uh the way it works is you do either a super chat or a paypal uh at cidfpv.com 
uh, through the PayPal button for, uh, let's do $3. $3 gets you on the wheel once, $6 gets you on the wheel twice, and that's it for tonight. $3 or $6 if you want to go on the wheel one or two times, and you can be entered to win in this Super Chat giveaway, and I'll spin the wheel at like 11.05. It's 11.02 right now. So Super Chats, PayPals, CIDFPV.com. There's a PayPal button where you can send it directly to me if you don't want YouTube to take 30%. I'm okay with YouTube taking 30% because they have a great website that I'm for free allowed to do these streams and, and talk to you guys on. So, you know, whichever way you want to do it, it's totally cool. Um, it's on you. So let's do that. Uh, uh, where's the fucking chat? Where'd you guys go? Uh, is it... Did I... I thought I... Oh, there it is. There's the chat. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, do me a favor. If you do the PayPal thing, though, uh, type like Keith Drones did. PayPal'd $6 and, and at me. Um, I, I, yeah. The emails are going to pop up over here, but it also helps for me to... Um... Thanks for dropping the link to McMenus' channel, Double A. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, get your asses over there. Show Brad some love. He's a great guy. Um, he's just not a, a, a fucking social media tycoon like me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, God damn it! Toxic FPV, thank you. Um, tweet FPV grips as well. Uh, I need to... You know what I need? I need... Uh, if, if anyone is deaf now, my apologies. Uh, I need a... Um, I need a set of tweet scripts to put in my little area as a reminder, uh, because I'm a dumb person. <laughs> um, yes, uh, Tweet FPV is making the coolest skateboard grip tape transmitter grips in the world right now, um, and that is going to be the other prize of this super chat giveaway. Is a fresh set of Tweet FPV grips for whatever your transmitter is in whatever color you'd like. Tweet um, is on. Uh, Etsy, and you can email him directly at tweetfpv at gmail.com if you want to order his grips, or go on over to RDQ. His grips are on RDQ's store now, and they're coming to another reseller, a reseller that is one of my favorites. RDQ's fine, but um, I'm a little bit of a bigger fan of, of GetFPV and RDQ and um, uh, Pyro, so I'm not going to tell you which one, but his grips are coming to one of those two sites soon, and uh, yeah, you should all have them because they look great on your transmitter and they work really well. Like every once in a while, when you get stranded without a without a um, uh, neck strap, and like the controller is kind of moving around in your hands a little bit, it totally fixes that. Um, I was not a believer. The the I, <laughs> I, yeah, I was not a believer in in the grip tape uh, transmitter grip things, and then I tried them, and I was like, oh. I'm the asshole. Got it. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, I see things happening, so I'm just going to start putting names on the wheel, and then we're going to spin the wheel, and then somebody's going to win, and it's going to be great. Here we go. Toxic FPV is first. Uh, I'm going to just go top to bottom in the chat, and then I'm going to check PayPal, so don't, don't fear. Uh, but if you're doing the PayPal thing, again, at me in the chat, tell me how much you sent on PayPal, and... Toxic FPV is first. He's going on there twice. Toxic FPV. Copy. Paste. He's on there twice. Then Keith Drones PayPal'd $6, so I'm going to copy and paste his name. Not once, but twice. What the hell happened there? That was odd. Okay. And then we've got Jasper S. He's going on there two times. And... There he is. One and two. Wait, no. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. There we go. All right. Oh, hey. I can move the chat back over here now. Fantastic. It would be nice to have a third monitor, but man. I mean, talk about excess. Flying Brian is getting in. Six dollar dues, and he says if he wins, respin for the grips. So everybody getting on this is hoping for Flying Brian. <laughs> sort of hoping for Flying Brian to win. Uh, very kind of you, Flying Brian. Uh, Julian Vincent is getting in. He sent $3 via PayPal. 
Uh, T-Bird, tell me how much you sent via PayPal so I know how many times I add you to the wheel, if you haven't already. Uh, all right. T-Bird FPV says $6, so I'm going to put him on the wheel two times. Um, I had a feeling you already were on top of that. And where was that? Here we go. Metal Dirt Skin spent all day moving into a new place, but still got to watch my stories. <laughs> How dare you call me a fucking daytime... Oh, God, what are they even called? Daytime television? I don't know. Whatever. I should probably not know that. Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Really, FPV says, why not with a four ninety nine dollars super chat? Um, I'm going to put really FPV on here twice because I'm just, that's just what I'm going to do. Because he was close enough. Jonathan King sends 10 Australian dollars. Don't know what six uh, USD dollars is here. So here's 10. I think that's about right, Jonathan King. He's going on the wheel twice. Thank you for the support, everybody. You guys are the goddamn best. Airbender with a $6 super chat. He's getting on there twice. And now I'm going to go over and... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to look at PayPal. Here's the, the thing about PayPal is when I go and look at it, it's your guys' normal names, not your YouTube names. So if you did the PayPal thing, you just have to dump it in the chat. How about that? that that's going to be way easier for me. Um, so if, if you did three or six bucks via PayPal, make sure you at me in the chat, at CIDFPV. And, um, and uh, yeah, shuffle wheel before spinning. Thank you, Frank. Um, I think I'm good, right? Airbender was the last one I saw. And um, so if any you, if anybody else is not, man, my fucking mouth is just not properly connected to my brain right now, which is, which happens a lot. It happens a lot. Sometimes it happens. Just remember. Just remember. They're they're one of these companies that spams um, like Instagram uh, advertising, which like that's fine. It's a way to advertise. Um, they've got a, a, a bunch of really cool, like, mental health-related um, wristbands. And uh, this one, actually, says, never give up on it. Look at that. And it's reversible, and it's this cool mint color. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to be stylish in my old age. I'm trying to I'm trying to remain young. <laughs> trying to remain hip. Here's the shirt. Nobody called it out, but here's the shirt for the day. There you guys go. If you don't know what that means, it's all right. Uh, okay, I think I'm pretty good. A couple of you guys just jumped in there. Bigly ARC 925 says, just breathe, homie. Deal. Frank Nicholas says, live stream went, well, I, 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 live stream went away during Clam Man. Um, so I think we're good. All right, we're on the wheel. Uh, I got to hit this button and this button. And we got to go up here. And here we go. Breaking Bad is, most, is, is for sure one of, the, one of the better shows I've seen in my lifetime. If, if you get, yeah, if I'm going to the fucking full screen. Can't, this is how serious I am about this. I'm going to go, I'm going to. Click into OBS because the keystrokes are broken again. If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, first off, I'm sorry. The world didn't give you this message soon enough, but better late than never. I just clicked shuffle on the names. Go watch Breaking Bad. It's on, I believe, Netflix. It's one of the best shows of all time. It's got Jesse Pinkman. It's, I'm not going to tell you anything else about it. 
I'm going to sit here being very jealous that you get to watch the whole fucking thing. In fact, Nicholas, I did get you on there. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're in for a goddamn treat. Get over there and watch it. Uh, I think I'm good on the wheel. I shuffled. And I'll show you guys the shuffleage. Look at all that shuffleage. And let's see who wins. I think it's going to be really FPV. Really FPV wins. Congratulations, sir. Hey. All right. First and foremost, you, sir, need to message Tweet FPV to get your transmitter grips. So do that. But right now, right now, I need you to pick a lanyard color. And I love doing this because it, it shows off broken prop crews, excellent lanyards, because they have really cool designs. This is not one of theirs, but this is a Rotor Riot lanyard. You can have that one um, if you'd like. This one's got pepperoni pizza on it. I can't believe nobody snagged this one yet. This one is green and super cool. I have the, uh, I use the purple version of this. This one has these super cool purple with awesome little flowers on it. Look at that. And then the last one I've got left at the moment is this super cool, oh god, this super cool orange one. Again, I use the purple version of that. Which one do you want? The shuffle didn't work, Carbon Cage says. <laughs> um, which one do you want, brother? Uh, because I'm going to make a little, uh, a little bag for you here and write your name on it, which I didn't do last week. And I have to rewatch the stream to figure out who won. But that's my punishment for not doing the right thing. Uh, all right, where is it at? Really FPV, where are you at? Tag me so I can see your comment. Really, where are you? Really FPV, really FPV, really FPV, really FPV, really FPV, really FPV, really FPV. You better not have left already. Okay, I'm gonna put these in a bag and then I'm just gonna wait to hopefully see Really's, uh, hopefully Really's still here. Um, and uh, yeah. We'll get it knocked out. Worst case, I have to ask him on Facebook and send him a little video. That totally works. But for right now, really FPV is being written down. Hey, there you are. Uh, which one do you want, really? Yes. He just says yes. Thanks. Yes. Hey, really, which one do you want? Yes. Yep. Yep. No, you got to pick. You got to pick which one. Yep. Yep. No, no, no. There's like, there's five different ones. You gotta, you gotta pick one of them. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> which, <laughs> really, which one do you want? <laughs> this is, if it's your first time here, um, this is pretty normal. I, I, I just, uh, I, I just trash on, on my wonderful fans. Bur purple! He says purple! Purple with flowers, dude. I'm very jealous. This is um, this is actually one of my favorites of, of their designs. I think this is the one you want, right? Really, really, right? Really, 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 right? Congrats, brother. You're getting this one with the like. <laughs> it's the only one that's even remotely purple, so it's it's got to be this one. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you guys for playing. Um, you're all fucking awesome. I know I say it a lot, but I mean it, and it's the goddamn truth. All right. Um, what are we doing now? What do you guys want to do now? Hey, here's, uh, here's Broken Prop, uh, Crew's, uh, website. This goes to the, to the goggle straps. Alright. Alright, yeah, there's their website. Look at all these dope designs. Come on. Get your asses onto this website and, uh, and get you a fancy head strap or lanyard. Or both. All right. Let's shrink this down. Look at this. This is uh, this is uh, the thing. Look at that fireball. What do you guys know about that fireball? Look at that fireball. All right. Enough. Enough. Uh, okay. Uh, Crunked, uh, I'm scrolling back up to try to get caught up in the chat, because that's pretty much what I do on these streams. 
the the oldest thing I can see in chat is when Crunk says, "I didn't need a sim. Uh, I just started with Kiss." Yeah, I mean, if you have enough money <laughs> to, to fix rigs. Uh, Grumpy FPV says, "What do you think about this Chaos FPV VTX V2 video transmitter? What the hell?" Um, let me just say this, Grumpy FPV. Um, I, I, I've, I've never heard of that one, but that's okay. Um, don't, I'm, I'm going to take a stand here and I'm going to say, don't buy wacky, like off brand VTXs, buy TBS Unifies or Immersion RC Tramps. Um, they work unbelievably well. They're time tested. They have a shitload of support. Uh, they have normal VTX tables for them. Um, and I just think it's going to save you from a lot of frustration. Um, I went down the road that you're going down uh, two, three years ago. I tried, like, the RDQ Mach 1. I tried a bunch of AKK VTXs. Um, and eventually I moved on to the Tramp, which is 30 bucks. This is, the, this is the other thing, right? The Immersion RC Tramp is a $30 VTX. Most of the knockoff ones are almost 30 bucks. Immersion RC has been around forever. I beat the fucking hell out of their B VTXs, and they work phenomenally. They're not indestructible. You can eventually break them, but they work well, and all the other things that I just said. Um, so that's going to actually be my suggestion, Grumpy, is to spend 30 bucks on a Tramp or 40 bucks on a Unify, um, and I can almost guarantee you that it's going to it's going to save you frustration in the future. Um, it's probably not the answer that you wanted, but I think it's the answer that you need. How about that? Dropping some fucking life advice. Not life advice, but little seller fox is here. What's up, Jamie? Um, she says so. Help is the keyword. Help is the keyword. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you guys message me and it's like really important. Help is the keyword. Um, good call. I like that, Jamie. Um, dur, 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 dur. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Looks like Jamie's being awesome in the chat. Thank you for that, as always. Um, Toxic FPV says, Did you manage to get my super chat package out by chance? I have no idea, Toxic. Um, uh, maybe. Uh, I've, I've got a couple things that are going out tomorrow, though. So, um, yeah. I don't know. Sorry, dude. Uh, it's it's been a weird couple weeks. Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Veritas Weezer. <laughs> What's the story? But is it, make sure you at me in this because I have to know. Veritas Weasel, if you're still here, what is the story behind that name? I'm I'm I I I'm very intrigued. I need to know. Uh, which radio should I buy to work with Velocidrone and Liftoff? Uh, I'm a big fan of the QX6. Um, it's really cheap. It's it's a hundred dollar transmitter. Um, see if you can find one that's not. I don't know if this is true. Somebody help me out in the chat. Um, I, I feel like I should say at this point, try to find one that's that's a little older and it's not on access. But that might not actually matter. I, I haven't really looked into access. To somebody told me on last week's chat, and of course I forget. Um, but. Maybe get one of the older ones that's not access. Maybe not. Maybe just get one of the new ones. Whatever. Um, if you have big, long, gangly fingers, especially, the QX7 is the radio that you want. If you have normal human being hands, um, then you can also look at the XD9, or there's a million different options. T16, X16, T18, I don't know. There's so many um, transmitters nowadays. Um, I don't know, 100 bucks QX7, I've had mine for three plus years, and it's been flawless. So that's that's my pick, um, but any of, the, any of the radios that have a uh, USB port on them are going to connect to Velocidrone and Liftoff. So 99% of transmitters are going to be completely fine. Um, before you buy whatever one you pick, just do a quick search or two. And uh, I'm sure you can find out whether or not uh, it is compatible with simulators because, yeah, Google's amazing. June Logo says, how can I lock the settings on my TBS Micro Nano VTX? I have no idea, June Loco. Um, 
I I'm not big on the TBS uh, uh, VTXs. Uh, what you should do though is just go to Google and just type in whatever the actual name of your VTX is. You know, TBS Micro Nano Pro 32. If you've got the Pro 32, whatever. Type in the full name and then the word manual. Um, TBS usually has PDF manuals that Google that are indexed by Google, so Google will find them. Um, so yeah, type the name of your VTX and then the word manual into Google. You'll find the instruction manual for it and it'll tell you in there. Hopefully. Hopefully you can do it. Uh, Airbender says, I've never been able to get on your or Joshua Bardwell's discords. That's frustrating. Uh, message me on Facebook or Instagram. Let's, uh, let's fix that. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to fix it because I'm... I'm very, very dumb when it comes to Discord, <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll at least make sure that you're on the list. It's Patreon supposed to automatically add you to the list, but you've been on my Patreon so long, Airbender, that you might have gotten in there before I set that up, so I might need to do something manually. Uh, message me, because I will forget in three seconds. Uh, as I read the next question, Josh PFPV says, just became a Patreon at Patreon. Oh, there we go. So, uh, now coming to, fuck here, fuck you, cut me, bitch, uh, Patreon coming soon, pastries that you buy virtually. Uh, Josh P. F. V. V. Oh, wait, I just got that. Thank you, Josh P. Very cool of you. Much, much, much appreciated. Welcome to the collective, my friend. Uh, scroll, 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 Little Stellar Fox says, uh, Ciotti FPV is going to... Oh, God. I'm not going to say that out loud. Um, yeah, Jamie's going to come down, hopefully, for the next Drift event. Um, because she's getting jealous. Ha ha! Which you all should be jealous, and you you all should go do the drift thing. It's just super, super, super fun. Um, I can't wait. I, I can't wait to... I, I Just, like, exposing pilots to, to drifting and, and being like, go do it, and then, like, getting to see them do it. Is, it's been so, so, so cool. Um, the, the past couple of drift events have been amazing. Um, uh, to, like, have others. The, the Previously, I the drift event that I went to in Myrtle Beach, it was just me and uh, Luke... Um, but now these uh, events here in Lanier have been like seven, eight, nine, ten of us, and it's just been so cool to see um, a bunch of these guys fly their first drift event because it's it's a, it's a thing. It's it's a thing, and, and you guys should all do it. Flying in Braille, he knows what's up. He chased motocross freestyle dirt bikes, and they were an absolute blast uh, doing all kinds of uh, doing all kinds of tricks, flying under the dirt bikes while. Going head to head in the air was amazing. Highly recommend. That is the other thing. Um, I finally have an in to uh, to do uh, some motocross stuff uh, locally. Uh, I was if I hadn't done the drift event this weekend, I would have been doing that. Actually, I had to pick. Um, uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. Motocross stuff too. Hideously fun. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. says, I'm going to tag you in all my posts on Facebook uh, if I don't win the five-inch tier. Well, then I'm going to be tagged in a lot of posts on Facebook, I guess, for tonight. Uh, scroll, 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 Okay, there's the, the chats, uh, the super chats, rather. Double A says, I tried to get a link to your FPV therapy page, but F uh, Facebook search is not playing nice. Thank you for trying. I'm going to jump on here and grab that link real quick just to make sure that we get it up here because it has been a topic lately. Um, and I haven't been, uh, I haven't really been talking about it much lately, um, mainly because uh, I've been kind of in it. And um, yeah, I. I really, really struggle. Um, but there's the link in the chat, FPV Therapy, 202 members. Let me make sure that uh, there's nobody, uh, oh good, look, three member requests that I haven't uh, approved. Thanks a lot, me. There we go, members approved. Uh, scrolling down, randomized wheel, yeah. 
B Man 80. <laughs> B Man 80 says, Hey, bro, damn, I missed the giveaways. Had a patient that kept going into cardiac arrest. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, B Man. Well, you did the right thing. <laughs> you did the right thing. My god. Um, I should not be laughing about that, but it just. I, I, I read it one. <laughs> I didn't read it like that the first time through, and the second time I read it, I was like, oh my god. Uh, Veritas Weasel, hey, we talked about that, cool. Um, uh, B-Man 80, Breaking Bad, definitely one of the best shows of all time, very much agree. Uh, for me, Breaking Bad is up there with, like, The Wire, um, to give you guys some idea of, like, the quality of the show and how just, like timeless it'll be um you know what i will say though um i have tried twice now to rewatch breaking bad I, I i really love re-watching television series because there's a lot of nuance that you miss your first time through um i've tried to rewatch breaking bad twice now and it was really good but for whatever reason it wasn't good enough for me to stay with it and i've bailed both times, um, not like consciously bailed, but just forgot to keep watching it kind of thing, and then it gets pushed down in the in the Netflix queue, and then I never see it again. Um, so yeah, I don't know, maybe that's just me, maybe it's just because the nature of the show is that like the first time you're watching it, it's, it's very fresh and kind of new and different and insane, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if you guys haven't watched Breaking Bad yet, I'm very fucking jealous, because you're about to have a, uh, a very memorable television experience if you listen to me if you don't listen to me then you're just a dick uh no then uh, you're just missing out you're just hurting yourself you're 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 just you're just hammering toxic fvv says did you by chance get the spoils mailed out um uh probably not i know we talked about that a minute ago scroll 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 um, Frank Nicholas, hey, thanks for the reminder. He says, uh, NBD Flow Motors. So, Frank shot me a, uh, email, um, and he just got some of these new, uh, Newbie Drone Flow Motors that they've been doing crazy deals on over the past, like, two or so months. And, um, he basically said to me in an email I, that, you know, he's, he's, uh, had a bunch of motors but none of them have been anywhere near as notchy as these uh, Newbie Drone flow motors. I did a little bit of research, and Newbie Drone is using N55. I didn't even know this was a thing. N55 magnets in their flow motors. Um, so, a couple things going on. A, it's interesting that I, I thought N52 magnets were the, were the strongest ones, but apparently not. There's even stronger, which is N55. The problem is going to be there that the stronger you go on the magnets, this isn't really a true statement, but I'm just going to fucking say it anyway. The stronger you go on the magnets, the more coggy and notchy the motor becomes. Technically, if you increase the air gap and, and do a bunch of other things, you can prevent that cogginess, but nobody does. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. These uh, Newbie Drone flow motors, it appears to, to, to get... Uh, some extra power out of them, they've gone to a, a, a stronger magnet. Great for power, possibly not so great for vibrations. Um, the more coggy, the more notchy the motor is when you spin it by hand, the more vibrations are going to get put into that frame, and there is a point where you're putting so much vibrations in that you're not going to be able to get a really good tune. I don't know if that's where... I don't know if that's going to be a problem with the Newbie Drone Flow Motors, um, because five inch rigs are really good with the like the frequencies where the vibrations happen on five inch rigs get pretty heavily filtered um just because five inch rigs have been the norm for a bunch of years now so most of the r d has gone into that prop size that um you know those vibrations so it might be totally fine or it might not the, the, the price that Newbie Drone has on these flow motors is very, very, very inexpensive. So it's I love Newbie Drone. I don't think it's one of these two things, but I'm just going to say it because that's what I do. Um, 
one of two things is going on there. Either they ordered a shitload of them and they kind of ordered too many and they just need to, to get them out. Or, um, it could be both of these things. Or they're too notchy and they don't fly all that well um, and they just need to dump them. Like I said, Newbie Drone is a very... Um, they've In my experience, they have been a very... Uh, fucking, what's the word? Um... I don't know. They, 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 I've, I've really never seen them like rip people off. That's what I'm trying to say, but I can't come up with the words. Um, so yeah, I, 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 my assumption is that they just ordered like ten thousand of them, and now they're like, "Fuck, we have to get rid of these." Um, so we'll just discount the hell out of them. Uh, but do your research. If if you're about to buy the newbie drone flow motors, um, hit up YouTube and search for some reviews or some flight videos with them. And just make sure that every single flight video, people don't have, like, mid-throttle oscillations or horrible prop wash handling, um, stuff like that, which could be caused by the motors being too notchy, putting too many vibrations into the frame and the gyro, and making things happen. Marley Lepo with 50 Norwegian kroner. Thank you for that. With the comment, let's play hide-and-seek, you hide, we seek. <laughs> Thank you, Marley. Uh, long time, very generous... Uh, fan of the the stream, I guess is what I say at that point. Tiago says any new new any new info on Ghost? Uh, none whatsoever, Tiago. I thought I was gonna like run out and get the fucking pre-release or whatever, but I I I've decided to just chill. Uh, I'm gonna let it get out there for a minute um, and let everybody use it, and then I'll jump on. Uh, Grumpy says thanks. You're welcome. Uh, Chris Dilks is here. What's up, Chris? I hope you're still in here. Uh, how the hell are you? How is, uh, how is it up there in the dirtiest of New Jerseyists? Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm going to slowly scroll down so that hopefully YouTube doesn't do the thing. Uh, big... Big ol' lar. Big ol' I wanted to... I, I feel like I pronounced it right, and then I pronounced it wrong. Big ol' RC, I'm, I'm fucked up. The open mental slash emotional support offer is much appreciated. Sometimes it's all we can offer, but sometimes it's all someone needs. Thanks, dude. You, dude, you are the shit. Um, thank you, man, for for calling that out. Um, one of the super evil things about mental illness is that it tells you that it's just you, and that you're just the weak one, um, and that everybody else is better than you. Um, I go through this every day and have for the last 20 plus years um and yeah it's uh it, it's it it makes it very difficult to do what big ol r big ol big ol fucking how do you pronounce it um yeah it makes it literally hard to do what he just did and just type into a chat with a bunch of random strangers that you know basically saying like yes i've got it too um so good on you man cody r says where's t-pain uh t-pain is in roswell he lives uh like 10 miles away which i now know because him and i are friends and i'll prove it didn't think i was gonna do this huh look at this look put my fucking money where my mouth is i won't show you the phone number of course but there it is there's me that's what i did yesterday afternoon i talked to t-pain Weird world I live in all of a sudden. Um, yeah, for anybody that doesn't know what I'm talking about, yesterday's stream, the first like 15 minutes, I told the story of yesterday's drift event and my meeting T-Pain and him being super excited and just super cool. If you think T-Pain needs auto-tune to be a good singer, you're fucking wrong. Search for NPR T-Pain. It'll find the NPR Tiny Desk concert that T-Pain did, and you'll get to hear him sing without an, without auto tune, and your fucking brain will melt, as uh, my wife and I did. He is an incredible singer, and you'll also get a little bit of a feeling for him as a person because he's just there, like kind of talking. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's funny. Like I, after having seen that Tiny Desk concert years and years and years ago. Um, I've never really been a fan, per se, like, his music would come on and be like, yeah, but I never, I don't know, I was never, like, a super big fan or anything, um, but 
after seeing the Tiny Desk concert, it, it, like I just kind of felt like yeah, he's a cool dude. Like he's not like one of these celebrities that's in, you know crazy and bad and whatever. Um, and then yeah, it, he is. Like like after meeting him and talking to him for like three minutes, I actually said to him, I was like, dude, I do, I could tell after seeing you on Tiny Desk that um, that you're just like a super cool down to earth guy. He thought him and his wife thought that was the funniest fucking thing ever. Um, but yeah, just an amazing dude. If, if you have any preconceived notions about T-Pain, um, throw those motherfuckers out, because he's a good dude, and, uh, one hell of a singer. Uh, uh, grew up going to church, singing in church choir, so you know he's, you know he's a good singer. Uh, scrolling some more... <laughs> Big ol' lair. Big old lair. Okay, got it. Big, big ol' Oh, O-L-E for O. I got it. Big ol' lair. Got it. Good, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. My brain is broken. Toxic FBC is where, uh, da, 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 da. where is Pyrodrone located or shipping out of California? But, unbelievably, Pyrodrone in California, when I place, an, if I place three orders right now, get FPV RDQ Pyrodrone, almost guaranteed that Pyrodrone order would, would get to me quicker than, than R here in Atlanta, Georgia, than RDQ and get FPV in Florida. Um, Pyrojoin is amazing for getting stuff quick, um, even if you're on the East Coast. Uh, RDQ and get FPV are good too, but Pyrojoin is, is just, Surge is just like off the reservation. I don't know how he does it. Um, uh, Frank Nicholas says, uh, they're often out of stock and the 8, 8X pack are in a special container for 8 uh, this indicates they were ordered, packaged for 8X motors. Nice, thanks, uh, Frank. Hurry up and build something with those so you can tell us if they're uh, if they're too notchy. <laughs> um, Tiago says, uh, "When are you going to build T Pain a glide?" So that's one of the other things that um, the 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 second or third time that I talked to him yesterday um, to show him some footage, um, I brought one of one of my rigs with me. Um, thinking like I, I wonder if he's ever actually seen one of these goddamn things that um so we went um so we start talking about it we start talking about whatever and i'm showing him some footage of, of him driving uh, amazing driver by the way uh and uh i, I like I'd, I'd kind of been holding this behind my back a little bit and and i was like so so have you like seen these things that 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 we fly by the way and like as i was saying it i i kind of realized like shit um, he's really, really into drifting right now, and, like, these are a real, these can be a real fucking rabbit hole. <laughs> so, like, as I'm saying it, I'm kind of realizing that, and I'm, like, slowing down, <laughs> and, like, I started to, I started to say, like, wait a second, maybe I don't, and he goes, man, I don't need to see that right now, I, I'm super hot and heavy, I was like, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I just, like, put it back behind my back, um, but, uh, don't you guys worry, I'll get it. I'll get him into it. Um, so, Chris, he's got a... Uh, uh, so, everybody, everybody look up... I'm going to even do it here. Uh, because it, it's just... It's, it's, it's fucking delightful. Head on over to Instagram and search for Nappy Boy. Just search for Nappy Boy. So, I, I, I'm probably just super white, uh, but uh, it, it would appear... As if T Pain is no like his nickname for himself maybe is uh, Nappy Boy. It, it's probably really well known, and I'm just showing what a fucking douchebag I am. But um, when you search for Nappy Boy on Instagram, you'll see here that I think T Pain is like us guys because he's got Nappy Boy drifting his drift team. He's got Nappy Boy Entertainment. He's got Nappy Boy Gaming. Nappy Boy Films. Right, and like each one of these things, e each each one of these, ooh, the new Nappy Boy. That's his logo, so I, I think that's probably him. Um, I think he's just like us. It, it, it I spent some time looking through these, and like it's it's it became kind of obvious that um, he's just like us in that he picks up a hobby and just gets completely eaten by it, and just like lives and breathes that hobby. And, like, when you look, like, so check this out, right? I would totally expect a celebrity with infinite money, right, realistically, um, like him, 
to to make Nappy Boy Drifting this drift team, and then just ha- he's got a bunch of guys that I, I guess he he probably has on payroll or whatever. Um, I would completely guess that he would just um, that he would just uh, have these guys build the cars for him, and, and right, and he would just keep doing music and keep being a, an incredible celebrity. Um, but he he didn't like like look he he's been doing this like he built this he's got this E46 this purple and gold E46 and like he's built a lot of this car like just search for Nappy Boy and and just do all the things and like it's 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 all, I don't know it, maybe it's just me being a weirdo because I come from motorsports and and you know building building race cars and shit. So maybe it's just cool to me, but I don't know, man. It, it's just like he just seems like he's one of us that happens to be really good at <laughs> music <laughs> and was in the right place in the right like this. This here, this this this, this kind of summed it up How's for it me. Going, <laughs> These are his guys. They're awesome too, by the way. I'm just documenting this because, you know, everybody be online. Like, I bet T-Pain be having all kind of hoes and drinks all around the studio. I bet T-Pain be, I bet it just, shit just be all strippers. And... That's his wife on the left, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no. Everybody used to come on my tour bus like, oh, man, this shit about to be crazy. I'm just up there fixing the PlayStation. <laughs> this is about as good as it gets right here. We dead in the studio. I bet he paint me that all kind of strippers and drinks and shit in the studio, and here he is making a fucking track right now. <laughs> the battery pack is over there. Good shit. Babe, we be having all kind of hoes and shit in here, don't we? Yep. Look at all these bitches. <laughs> you can't tell me that's not the greatest thing in the world. I don't know, man. I, I just... I just think he's a hysterical guy and just a just a good person. Get get the fuck over there, friend. I'm Nappy boy drifting. Um, you'll uh, you'll 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 laugh your ass off. He, uh, I don't know. Uh, I I'm pissed that I didn't realize what a cool dude he was earlier uh, in life, and I and I've been missing out. But it's all good. All's well that ends well. Um, all right. Uh, the pickle yeah the pickle Rick car is his, but typically he lets. Um, so this is, uh, so the, the, the big guy that you guys just saw is George. So this is George here on the, god damn it. Um, so that's George there on the left. George is like, like top, a top level driver. So, um, he usually dri- drives the Pickle Rick car, um, at the, uh, at the Lake Lanier events, at the big events, but it is, it is T-Pain's car. Um, the E46 is T-Pain's kind of beater car, and that's what he's been learning on. Um, I, I said it before, but I, I really, I'm, I'm still, like, shocked at how good of a driver he's become. Um, and it, a lot of it's from the simulator. He's been spending a lot of time in Assetto Corsa. He's got a, uh, six-axis, I think, uh, sim rig, and, yeah, he's a legit driver. Um, legit. Like, for real. And he's been building the car. I, I don't know, man. I, I'm not, like, I'm just so impressed that like a celebrity would would get so hands on with that and just like do it. And, and it's so great that he did because that's that's like the real hobby, right? Like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to see people just like pour money into a hobby and just come in and like be really good, right? Like, you guys have probably had that experience at some point in life. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's cool to see somebody who could have just done that. Just like no, fuck that. That's fake. I'm gonna do it the real way, right? You know, that's that's just super cool. Uh, Tiago says, "Okay, we got that." Frank Nicholas says, "I've built one newbie drone, Vivid, uh, flew it twice, flew smooth uh, and nice until I clipped a tree branch, bent a prop, but the quad was fine." Interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, and then uh, what's T Pain driving? We talked about that. T Bird FPV is a pickle rick him. Yes. Uh, Veritas Weasel says, "Do." Don't put your... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Veritas. I'll think about it, Veritas, when uh, when you give me the story on your name. Um, License to Drive says, Does the word nappy mean something different in the U.S.? Because here in the U.K., it's, <laughs> it's our word for diaper. That's right. Um, yeah, so it's... You guys probably already talked about it. Um, 
nappy is a be careful with the word nappy um it, it's it, in in the u.s um it's a word that can be taken as disrespectful from us white dudes um so don't go running around screaming that word um but my understanding of the word nappy is typically like nappy hair um and it means like when your hair gets really greasy and like and like matted and and nappy i don't know nappy look it up look it up on the google and you'll get lots of nappy descriptions but again all you white folks like myself don't go screaming that word it don't 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 uh don't go run around yeah uh, Flying Brian says, Veritas Weasel explained his name earlier. Oh, I didn't see it. God damn it. Um, uh, Frank Nicholas says, if you want to test four of the newbie driven flow motors, glad to loan you four as long as you don't cut the wire motor wires to use as race wire. Well, I would have to do that because I have race wire and everything. Thanks for that, Frank. Um, but I'm just going to rely on your reviews. <laughs> um, holy shit, we're caught up. Uh, I know this isn't Joshua's stream, but I learned something today, License to Drive says. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> Adam Russin says, yeah, here in America, we take words and just give them new meanings. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can say that about pretty much anything, I guess. Uh, okay, so it's now time to stop streaming. <laughs> Not really. Uh, what were what, what were we gonna do tonight? What was the deal? Uh, Q and A giveaways. We did that. Mailbag. Ooh, mailbag. Those of you that waited uh, late get to see my mailbag. Shout out to Mighty Car Mods. I just blatantly stole that from them. No lube, nothing. Just stole it. Um, I figure every time I do it, every time I trigger it, I'll give those guys props. So if you're into cars at all and you don't know Mighty Car Mods, the fuck have you been? Um, get your ass over there to Mighty Car Mods on YouTube and you will laugh your ass off. They are two really funny dudes who have been... Um, modifying cars forever and um, one of the best YouTube channels on all of the YouTube uh, mailbag bros I've never done that I've kind of always wanted to I never did it because I was sure that it would be as much of a big dumb disaster as that was uh, Hold on, let's let me figure out where everything just went. Um, was that it? Was it just two things that fell? All right, here we go. <gasps> this is so. This is a Siati. Uh, <laughs> this is the new verb for crashing. I'm down with that. Hey, Tiago, good call. Um, Tiago just dropped a link to uh, MCM Mighty Car Mods. Uh, Private Island Siati'd into a ledge the other day. Well, alright, there it is. Private Island just made my last name into a verb for smashing into things. <laughs> I, I wish that I could be mad at that, but that would be pretty hypocritical of me, so... <laughs> I won't. Um, alright, let, uh, let me just really quickly... Uh, organize things. That, that's what you guys want to watch, right? You guys, you, you come here to watch me uh, 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 organize things, right? First up, we've got, and I actually want to open this uh, because I'm I'm uh, intrigued by this. So uh, the I'm still I'm on the hunt again for the best twenty by twenty flight controller, the best and cheapest. Uh, good, cheap, fast. Pick two. Uh, this is Pyro Drones offering into the uh, the 20 by 20 ESC market. Uh, it is an F7. I'm only doing F7s though. Um, so F7 20 by 20s, I'm just kind of buying as many of them as, as I'm, I'm taking a look at how the pads are laid out and, and how thick they are. And then that's how I'm kind of deciding whether or not I buy them. Uh, I didn't realize that this one had so many plugs on this side uh, and on the other side. I normally wouldn't 
buy a flight controller that has this many big tall uh, plugs on it, but it appears that I have. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll see. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm shocked that I bought this, but glad. Maybe. Hopefully, I don't regret it. Uh, no, Pyro Drone makes great uh, quality electronics. I, there just hasn't been a, they haven't had a 20 by 20 flight controller that didn't have a bunch of plugs on it, so I haven't bought one. Um, now I did. Tweet FPV has arrived. What's up, Tweet? Uh, you should have a, a, an email coming to you. Uh, look, another Pro 40 F4. And what this means is I can move another one of my 5 inch rigs over from F40 Pro 2s to F40 Pro 4s. And that's pretty awesome because the F40 Pro 2s, uh, I literally use my very l no i have one more i have one more t-motor f40 pro 2 clean straight not bent bell left uh but that's it i only have that one and they discontinued that motor a long time ago for anybody that doesn't know that the t-motor f40 is just t-motors 2306 it's their premium 2306 um and this is their brand new version of it and they are fucking awesome uh, this is a Hobbywing ESC, it's a 40 amp 4-in-1, uh, I'm assuming this goes up to 6S, yes! So that's the other thing that I'm slowly kind of uh, getting here and there are 6S compatible small 20 by 20 ESCs. Uh, this is kind of the biggest that I really want to get, I, I don't like, uh, so I'm, I'm looking for a 20 by 20 ESC that goes up to 6S for micros. Uh, this is more geared towards 5 inch rigs, it's 40 amp, um, and it's kind of big, right? Like, so this is, this is how I, uh, 20 by 20 ESCs, most of them, they do the same thing that X Hover did here where they, they, they use the 20 by 20 holes, but then they put a bunch of shit on the outside of those holes, uh, and they end up with an ESC that's damn near as big as a 30 by 30. Um, so to me, this is somewhere in between. Most of them are even bigger than this, but this kind of blurs the lines between a micro ESC and a 5 inch ESC. Um, I'm going to put this into a micro that has the room. See that, So that's the problem. A lot of micros don't have enough room for a big-ass 20x20 uh, 20 20 ESC that has, that's big, right? Um, so it's kind of a slippery slope, but I still haven't found, like, the ideal 20x20 uh, 20 20 ESC that's 6S for micros. Um, and this one was, I think this was on sale. It, it was a lot less than the Akon AK32 pin 20x20 ESC. Um, so I got it to try it. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it is. Um, it'll be great because Hobbywing makes good ESCs, but the size is going to potentially be a problem. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'll put it into something and we'll talk more about it. The rest of this order is a lot of propellers. Um, a lot of six inch propellers because I now have uh, six inch arms on the glide hammer. Uh, these are just the regular, these aren't like glide hammer six inch arms. These are just the regular five millimeter thick uh, FPV cycle glide arms, um, but for the six inch propellers. And these, so I flew these yesterday at the drift event. These are Master Air Screw. I've always wanted to uh, to run a set of Master Air Screw props. Look at how official this packaging is. Other than the the picture of the the quad, so old that I don't even know what it is because I wasn't into this hobby back then. Um, but like, look at this. Look at this official ass packaging. Uh, and these are really good. They are. Um, they're a nice big fat paddle, right? So they, they push a good amount of air, very well balanced. Um, they're actually pretty quiet. 
And, uh, I mean, the big thing with Bi Blades is that they're well balanced, and, and they were. So that's like 90% thumbs up. Um, yeah, I haven't looked at the footage from them yet, but uh, it should be good. Um, so yeah, now that I've got the six inch arms, uh, I forgot, I lost my train of thought there. Um, all right, taking a step back, the motors on this rig are Brother Hobby Avenger 2507, 1850 kV. Ignore the kV, I have the kV scaled down in beta flight, but uh, the important thing is 2507. All right, we know that on a five inch propeller that weighs around four grams, we know that a 2306 or a 2207 or a 2208 are enough motor to properly control that weight of a propeller, right? We know that. This is established. We've been working on this combination for years and years and years. Um, we've been working on six inch and seven inch combinations for a lot less time, um, but 2306, right? That's my preferred motor size. 23 wide, six tall. So now I want to go up to a bigger, heavier propeller, six inch. Um, I, previously I had this on tri-blades. Six inch tri-blades weigh six to seven grams, six inch bi blades, seven inch bi blades, they weigh six to seven grams as well. So just think about that again, right? 2306 is a good match for a four gram prop, 2507, so 23 to 25, 06 to 07, that's a little bit more motor. It's not a lot more, right? It's just a little bit more. Um, it seems like so far in my pretty limited testing, it seems like these motors, 2507, are only really enough for a very lightweight 6 inch tri-blade, like the Dow Folder, um, or a 6 inch bi-blade, or maybe a 7 inch bi-blade. I don't know if I'm going to go down the 7 inch route, I think I'm just going to stick with 6 inch, but um, these bi-blades, which are of course lighter than tri-blades, right, because one less blade, um, these six inch tri-blades on these motors are great. These motors have plenty of torque and power and everything to speed up and slow down these six inch bi-blades quick enough that the PID tune feels great and it's not bobbling around and it's not prop washing and it, and it doesn't fly like a lot of other long range rigs, right? This isn't necessarily, a, this isn't really a long range rig. This is a high speed rig. Um, uh, so yeah. I'm getting a bunch of 6 inch bi blades, which you're about to see. These are the gem fans. I think these are going to be really good. 6042. So I'm going to try these. These are the bubble gums, as you can see from a mile away by the colors. Uh, these are, well, Ethics doesn't tell you any of the specs. So. These are some pitch. They're six inches with some pitch. Uh, so I'll try them as well. And then I also got these. I, 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 I have a feeling that that rig is going to end up back on five inch arms um, because pitchy five inch props fly amazing. And those motors just like are, are just gnarly. Uh, and they and they spin the shit out of high pitch five inch props. I really like these. Uh, these are the Gem Fan Hurricane fifty one forty nine. Uh, they're really good. Yeah. So um, I think I might end up. I think these might end up being the propellers that I run on this rig uh, long term. But I I, I want to try a bunch of other things. Uh, it looks like I picked up a couple extra, or just one extra set of Gemfan 5152s. Uh, I have run these a bunch on those motors, and they're nuts. Um, real fast, real smooth, uh, not all that efficient, but hey, when you're talking about a big, a big power anything, efficiency has a tendency to kind of go out the window. Okay, and now, and then I've got a whole bunch of... HQ 5.1s, which, you know, I ordered so that I would have them for this weekend's event, so of course they show up today. Um, if you're going to go down this HQ 5.1 route, um, 
turn down your expectations for the pitch. Uh, the five point HQ props in general. Um, if you're comparing like an HQ forty three pitch to uh, see this goes out the window with the V two S. The the four point three V two S HQ prop performs just like all the other four point threes. Um, 4.3 pitch props from Gemfan from whoever else. Um, the HQ 5.1 blade profile and pitch rating that they're using, it it seems a little low. So, like, for example, in all the flying that I've been doing, uh, that I did this weekend at the Drift event, I, I was on a 3.6 pitch 5.1 inch HQ propeller. And power-wise and speed-wise, they had every bit as much uh, power and speed as a 4.3 pitch, like like Gemfan 5143, T Motor 5143, uh, uh, HQ uh, 4.3 V2S. Um, so yeah, on their 5.1 blade profile, get a little bit lower of a pitch than you than you think you want. Um, as evidenced by the, what I bought. Um, so I've got 5.1 by 3.6s, and I should have a bunch, because I'm gonna start flying them hard. There's also 5.1 by 4.1s. I think these are gonna be too pitchy though. The other thing that happens, the, the, the HQ 5.1s are a heavy prop, and when you go up and pitch, you go up and wait. Um, so that's another reason why I'm trying to keep the pitch as low as I possibly can on these already heavy HQ 5.1s. Um, 5.1 by 3 points. I think I just got maybe two sets of the 4.1s. Yeah. So these are going to be my drift props. I will literally only run those when I'm tuning and drifting. Um, uh, double A, I'm not running the 5.1s on the 6-inch rig. Um... The the five point the the for me in my opinion the use of the the HQ five point one props is durability like that's it there's I I to me there's no other reason to use them because in my experience they're not really all that good at anything else that's not I mean they're 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 not I said that in a horrible way they're not as good as um, any, anybody else's, the reason to run HQ 5.1s, in my opinion, is for durability, not for efficiency, not for power, not for speed, not for anything else. Um, my six inch rig is all about speed and smoothness. So, and, and the, those big long arms are like, they're going to be hopeless in, in terms of crashing. So no reason to run durable props, right? Um, so yeah, T-Bird is out of here. He's probably already gone. Later, brother. Thanks for hanging. Uh, so yeah, no, I, I will never, I will probably never run, other than the bubble gums, I'll probably never run a um, a 5.1, an HQ prop on the 6-inch rig, but you never know. Uh, cool, 5.1 by 4.1s. Uh, I saw somebody, Paletheus, I really like the HQ 5.1 by 3.6s, but they do not take abuse well. So I've had the exact opposite experience, Paletheus, but what's important about when we start talking about durability is for there to be like a control group. Um, you know, what I think is durable and what somebody else thinks is durable can be totally, totally, totally off. So um, my uh, like control group, not control group, but okay, so... If I'm not flying these, I'm flying Gemfan 5143s or T-Motor 5143s. Um, that's kind of it. Uh, and compared to those, these are extremely durable. Compared to an even heavier... Okay, 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 okay. Here you go. Compared to these Gemfan 5149 Hurricanes, which are like very, very, very heavy these are super durable and these are not quite as durable you know you guys know what i'm saying right um so yeah compared to the other options that i would realistically run the hq 5.1 by 3.6s are a big step up in durability 
and probably the most step up in in durability that I'm willing to take because in order to keep going durability wise you end up with a really heavy propeller and a really heavy propeller is not going to perform well on a 2306 motor it's going to require you to go up to a 2407 or a 20 you know a, a, a bigger motor so um, basically I guess what I'm saying is HQ 5.1 by 3.6 for me personally is the sweet spot of durability and performance for yeah running drifting events in my case Chris thanks for hanging brother um, baseline baseline that's the word I couldn't think of that fucking word <laughs> thanks Chris uh, yeah base everybody's baseline is completely different um, so yeah take that with a grain of salt uh, it's now after 12, so I'm going to run through this at 7,000 miles an hour. Um, so we got a bunch of uh, HQ 5.1 props. Very exciting. Uh, here are some HQ Cinewoop 3 props that I'm going to try on the Acrobrat. The Acrobrat is where I want to try these props, and I'm excited for that. Um, I broke through three of the Stan FPV Acrobrat ducks this weekend because that's how hard I was working for that footage. And or I'm just a shitty pilot. Uh, whatever. Those can go there. Uh, these are Gemfan 8mm hole uh, little props because Brad sent me a perfectly good uh, newbie drone uh, 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 Humming? No. I forget what this one's called. Uh, and then uh, uh, Mark had sent me a bunch of brushed motors. And in that package, uh, Mark Kunoff that is, in that package were these uh, newbie drone rainbow fart? Or rainbow vomit? I don't know what they're... They got a fun name. Uh, but they're rainbow brushless motors. And they're like longer? They're crazy. They're, they're crazy RPM. Crazy KV. They're like 25,000 KV. Um, so I thought, you know what, that would be a cool little, I, I want to have a brushed, uh, tiny whoop. It's, it's just a cool baseline. Uh, yeah, brushed tiny whoops are awesome and, uh, we should all have one and this is going to be mine and it's going to have these little properties on it. So what do you think of that world? Uh, a couple last things and then we're out of here. Chris says they lasted two flights before I destroyed them. <laughs> oh, Chris. Call me when that shit happens, dude. It's probably a tuning problem. We'll, we'll get it straightened out. Look at this. Look what Pyrodrone has, guys. R colored foam fetuses. Brandon's Baked Beans has three brush tiny whoops. He knows what's up. Um, the Keith Drone says Venom props on them. Uh, that's my other, uh, I have a, uh, a newbie drone order coming with Venom 0.8 millimeter props for these. I'm, I'm hoping that these like Venom props, or the, the Biblade props, because they sound cool. Um, yes, Brandon, foam fetuses. Look at these little guys. Look at that. It's red. I don't know. I'm weird, yo. Um, a bunch of 15 millimeter standoffs, because I'm now building all of my glides with nano cameras and when you do that you can really slam the uh, the top plate down onto 15 millimeter standoffs and you have this situation where you've got like no wasted space which is great uh, 15 the the main reason for my switching over to 15 millimeter standoffs though is that they will be a shorter lever a 25 percent shorter lever Right when when like the GoPro mount smashes into something and you generate energy in any of these directions, it tries to bend the standoffs. Uh, and the shorter the standoff, the the shorter the lever, and the more the durability. Uh, so yeah, got a bunch of uh, 15 millimeter standoffs. I actually got a bunch of uh, titanium hardware because I am uh, returning to my weight Nazi roots and uh, trying to figure out how to get. Now that I'm on 15 mil standoffs with a nice lightweight nano camera, I think I can get my glide builds below 600 grams all up uh, with the Tattoo R-Line version 1 6S 1050 batteries. Um, 
But in order to do that, I'm, I'm going to have to kind of go nuts with weight. So, titanium to the rescue. Uh, a couple more of Pyrodrone sells these TPU camera mounts that fit perfectly with a nano camera on the glide frame. So, I got a couple more of those. And apparently I got one lone single green standoff. Possibly as an analog... For my life inside of my head <laughs> this is this is me right here this, this is it I'm just a little I'm just a I'm a 20 millimeter chunk of knurled aluminum in a bag but remember I mean, it just seems like it's whenever I want it, right? Like, Never, ever, ever. It says it here. There it is. All right, guys. That's it for me for tonight. Um, I'm going to try really, really hard this week to, to stream. <laughs> Um, oh, it might be RC Massmaster. That's just a, uh, he's not an actual Asiatic clam fisherman. He's a, uh, he's an actor over in Japan. Um, all right, guys. Tiago says, I'm going to love those titanium screws. Handle your flight style. So I only put the titanium screws in spots that don't take a huge amount of, of energy during crashes. Um, so I should be fine. So for example, right? Ah! Uh, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys exactly where I'm willing to... So, here, here's something to understand, though, about titanium. Titanium is actually stronger than steel, but it's, um, it's also more brittle. So, if you, if you have two chunks of metal, um, steel and uh, uh, titanium, and you put... I don't know, it's a big thing like this, and you fucking smash something into it like that, right? To try to get it to, to break like that. Um, the, the steel will bend, uh, eventually, if you put enough energy into it. Whereas, when you, when you get to that point of energy where the steel would bend, the titanium will stand strong, right? So, if you put just the right amount, like, you know, 60 mile an hour crash into a brick wall, right? If, if that amount of energy would have bent the steel, uh, the steel screws, the titanium screws would hold on, and they would be fine, they wouldn't bend. If you go to like 80 miles an hour, let's say, just grabbing random numbers, if you go to 80 miles an hour, which at that point is enough to break the titanium, the titanium is not going to bend. It's just going to break. The steel is just going to continue to bend. On one hand, well, the steel, at that point, the steel is so fucking bent that it's useless anyway, so just run titanium everywhere. Okay, um... The only real problem with that for us is that, man, you guys are getting deep, deep nerdy tech right at the last second. Um, the, the heads on these titanium screws strip out really easily. Um, and I haven't spent enough time. I think the answer would be, tr would be to find titanium M3 screws that have socket heads, right? Nice big socket heads in them because that would alleviate the stripping issues because literally if if these guys didn't strip out I would just run the titanium everywhere um, because it's not that expensive and yeah I like I don't give a shit if the screw breaks if, if the titanium screw breaks that means that the steel screw would have bent to hell and been a, a, 
a lost cause anyway, so fuck it, right? Um, so, but because of the fact that they strip out, I, I only really put them in low uh, uh, stress like areas. So where I'm going to be putting them are the inner, not these outers. I like the, the socket on these outers so I can really crank them. Um, so I'm going to put them on the inners here. I'm going to run them on the, um, on the ESC so that it's just holding up the ESC. And then uh, on the inside, I already have it on these, on the inside of the third, right there, there you go. So sockets on the outside, but then a single or maybe two titaniums on the inside here. Uh, and then there's one more spot. I forget where it is. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm tired. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging, as always. Tiago says, the one I had, the head popped out and had to replace the stand up, but they are way... And that's the thing. They are way lighter. Like, the, the titanium hardware is almost half the weight um, as steel hardware. And um, if you want to really blow your own mind, take all your hardware off of your frame and weigh it. It's heavy. Uh, that's it for me. Ciati FPV... <laughs> Thanks, Alec. Alex says, focus! Um, Ciati FPV.com is now... Oh, focus. Focus. Right. Works in both ways. A, focus on ending the stream, you fuck. B, focus the fucking camera. Um, but right now, I'm going to focus on ending the stream. CIDFPV.com uh, for all of your supporting me so that I can maybe keep doing this needs. Um, Check out my Drift Edit if you've only watched it once. Watch it twice because I'm getting paranoid that there's only like 300 views on it. <laughs> um, send it to your friends, maybe? I don't know. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, oh, the, the Cinewoops flew beautifully. Uh, the the Cinesplore is amazing. Uh, the Stan FPV ducts exploded, which I expected. Um about it i know t-pain now I, t I talk to him via text i'm kind of a big deal that's a thing that i'm supposed to do right uh stickers nobody's bought stickers i'm starting to i'm starting to uh to wonder get some stickers oh i gotta put the small sticker up maybe that's why you guys aren't buying them because i'm not fucking updating them on etsy uh, all right, I'm out of here. You guys are awesome, every single one of you. Thank you for hanging. Uh, support me if you'd like, but hanging out is all the support that I'll ever need because you guys make my life better, and hopefully I make your lives a little bit better too. I'm sure you wouldn't still be here if I didn't. Um, where can I buy the stickers? Carbon Cage says, uh, CiatiFPV.com, and then there's a link to uh, Etsy, my Etsy store. I think I just put the word stickers. I think if you go to CiatiFPV.com, there's a button that says stickers, hopefully. Uh, be good. Private Island says, I want stickers, shirt. Oh, shirts too. Yeah, get you a shirt. Get a shirt before I do. That'll be funny. Uh, and I'm going to put your video on loop. Thanks, Private. <laughs> Very cool of you. I just spit. That's the perfect time to end the stream. Goodbye. Wait, no, I'll leave you with something. I got to leave you guys with something. Uh, let me find something for you guys. Let's find something unreleased and 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 maybe maybe sketchy. Um, I'm just gonna play you guys a, a very random flight that I've got over here. So I don't. This is from March 30th. It's in Buckhead. Potentially very sketchy. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Sometimes I do dumb things when I'm flying. Not often, but sometimes. Uh, here you guys go. I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, oh, good. It's a five-second video. Great. Let's pick the next one. Here comes the next one. Maybe this one's more than five seconds. Oh. Oh, yeah. This one's a little sketchy. This is okay, though. Uh, this was like when the pandemic was super crazy popping off. Uh, it was an absolute ghost town in Buckhead, so we, we got a little... Patrick and I got a little, a little reckless here. But 
Um, yeah, we were spotting for each other, and it was an absolute ghost town because uh, the government was telling everyone to stay the hell inside. So here you guys go. I'm just going to give you the, the raw audio. I'll see you guys this week. I promise I'll stream this week. How about that? See you guys. Thanks for hanging. Ooh, getting dirty. Here we go. That was odd. Goodbye! I must have crashed and, and lost the rest of the footage. Goodbye! Be good, guys. I'll see you this week. I'm <laughs> 